Hi there folks, it's me. I'm back for my video I promised for making the Black 5 Loco. Uh, this Loco will be made from all Hornby 00 parts, um, apart from uh, one of the pickups obviously because I'm at to make it. But uh, yeah, it's, it's all Hornby 00 parts and here we go. This is the parts you need to make the Black 5. This is my version that I have chosen these parts to make this. It's all Hornby Double parts. First of all, you need a 80th Loco, um, which is the 7.3, the two rail version, that has the two screws that the rear fits in. You can make it with the other version that doesn't have these screws but I, I choose to do it with this one I have made both but if you use this body take the weight out the middle that's one part the next part is from oh well, you need the screws from the ATF Um, this part here is a Cardiff Castle. So if you purchase a Car Cardiff Castle, you need the chassis, the ring-filled motor, and the worm. Sorry, the, the, the gear, not the worm. The worm's in this part, isn't it? Anyway, uh, you need the two rear screws from the ATF or the castle. You need a 264 front bogey and the screw. This part here is off of the castle, so you need this as well. This is the whole piston block with the two crank pins and the rods. The fixing screw for the top and these wheels are from the Montrose or Athol or you can use A4. The two different types are small pin or large pin. It's better if you use the large pin ones because the, on the castle it has these pins that fix the the end of the piston rod onto the centre of the crank pin in here and this size on the castle is the larger pin so if you use the larger pins it will go straight in but if you use this one which is what set I have which is the smaller pins I'll have to drill this small hole out to the right size so that it can fit so the the larger pin is a better one to use really because it's easier and obviously the tow bar this one is um, for the castle if I remember uh, yeah I think the, this is the castle one the cranked one with the two screws now the tender isn't here but you use the tender from the ATF this uh, um, tender which is actually a two rail, but I make it a three rail, obviously, with the non-isolated wheels. And I'll put a wire from the motor afterwards through into the tender with two plungers into the tender. You can't use the ATF motor because it's the a different motor this is this is a castle motor and it is marked 1a I think on here but it is the the longer version yeah the shorter one won't work so that's the parts you need the first job to do is actually get the chassis which is completely stripped and the body now if you look on the side like this 
it's got the two steps on the rear so if you take the top step off and file it down each side so it's flush with this surface that's, that's both sides yeah not the bottom one you can leave that and then the next job we have to cut the front off you cut the front off right there and you cut it off forwards so it comes across here so you cut it in in that space there that right across there and then you are left with these two little bits on the edge which you have to cut down inside and across to fit into there into that groove which I'll, I'll do it and then I'll show you again on the camera so that's the steps filed off at the top and the other end is I've cut that across there like that this bit is no good now this part is just cut down behind this piece that's left into there into there uh, same on the bottom one which I will do now so that's I've cut just underneath there and underneath there and now I will cut down there and take the corner off okay the next thing to do is to put a hole just behind this one here about there um, for the tow bar and that will have to be drilled the same size as this and uh, tapped the same uh, then, and also at the front here you need to put the hole for the front fixing screw so if you put this chassis in where it's supposed to go and you will see that this line here is that's where it's got to go underneath there like that in line with that but obviously in the center just behind that hole so you drill a hole through there and tap the same so the front fixing screw will go right through and then the next thing we've got to do is this piece here now we've got to cut the front of this off across there so the way I do it is grind off these two rivets and then these two bits will all come off the end and then you can put the end of this part in a vise up that way bend it backwards and forwards and this will snap off level here you will then have to get a, a round file and file this piece out like that then the sides you can cut this piece off like that the end of that with a pair of side cutters and just file it smooth both sides and then that piece will be done so I filed the two rivets off like I said and you pull the front piece out like that and the best thing to do is put this into the vise, let's close that vise up a bit. bit hard to do with one hand but I can show you what you do just put that in there like that like that and then you can bend this back to forwards a few times so until the front snaps off like that that's that part so now we have to I'm going to grind this this flush with, the, with this piece here and then I shall half round file in there or round file um, and then the ends obviously 
like I said, just get a pair of side cutters and put them on to the end of there and literally cut them off both sides. Yeah, so now it's finished now. So that's the piece I snapped off there. I put a half round file through that, quite a depth, and I've cut the two sides off those two corners and just filed them round a bit. I also took the two raised pieces off each side of the piston so that it will actually fit flush onto sorry you're upside down flush onto there yeah so we like that there you go so that's all that part fit in now so now what I've done I've put the hole for this rear tow bar in and tapped it and I've also put the hole for the body fix in and tap that as well now the next thing to do is all these raised parts here have to be filed off which I'm going to do now and that's what you have to do that is the underside of this you have to get flat then if you look at the body, you can put the chassis in there and you can see that this is all uh, raised here. So now you have to file these pieces off so they're the same height as this all the way across there so that the front bogey can move around without catching on anything. Okay, so um, now I've filed this piece flat as well. When these two go together now you can see that they are flat and the next thing I've done is I've put another hole just in front of the bogey fixing hole um, uh, and th this is the screw for this is the screw for the for the bogey right. uh, this this actually has to uh, be moved slightly forward here um, and uh, when you put that screw in to the chassis into that fixing hole you have to um, shorten the length of the screw so I'm just trying to put this in like that and if you look at the back this is actually flush, it doesn't stick up proud so I've had to cut off about I don't know, maybe an eighth or something off the end of there not quite an eighth, but uh, anyway um, so it's flush because what happens is when this sits on here it's got to sit down without hitting hitting that so that that now is all the real kind of like um, big work done. It's, it's all fitting together now, like this. Uh, what I have to do next is yeah, this is the hole for for the top which I've done, and they're all six BA threads which I've put in. Um, these two. On the end these end ones will just screw in yeah now the next job is I'm gonna spray this in black I'm gonna put these driving wheels onto the chassis with the, with the gear and then I shall be opening up all the inside of here each side of here and remove this part in the middle so that these larger wheels will will fit in in there and once that part's done it's just a matter of painting the body up and the tender putting the three reel pickups in the tender and putting some transfers and that's it okay that's the chassis with all its wheels in 
and also the piston block and all the connecting rods uh, with the gear in the middle. Now, when this is fitted into here, you can see that the chassis is not able to sit down properly because the wheels are actually touching on the inside of the body. So what you have to do now is I use a belt sander to take some of this away on the edges to make it wider so the wheels can spin inside. Okay this is the, the chassis and the body now. I've cut all this out you know with uh, my belt sander. As, uh, you have to take quite a bit out and I've taken the piece out of the middle. Now, now, now it fits really well. You know, it fits really well. Nice, nice. Um, so all I've got to do now is paint the body up and put it together. Okay, now this is uh, assembled. I've sprayed the body with uh, satin black paint and I've cleaned the handrails and replaced those um, and the reversing rod is all back on it's all screwed together and you know all up and out it should be all I've got left to do to this part is to put the numbers on um, paint the buffers the buffer beam um, I shall uh, lacquer it afterwards with um, some matte or gloss whatever I feel like and uh, I've got to run a wire back um, to the tender this is the tender I've I've picked up um, so I'm gonna have to clean this off a bit um, put a bit of paint on it and I've got to make another plunger for the back of there which is missing run the wire through and obviously you know that's it. Well, this is the tender top now, all painted, and the chassis, the tender chassis, I've painted with. Uh, I've made a new plunger for the for the back, and I soldered um, wire across from both. So it's just a matter of assembling this now. Well, that's the loco all together now with its tender, all wired up with its uh, electric pickups, three rail pickups, tender and uh, plungers all fitted and all that's left now is the numbers, the BR emblems, um, paint the buffers, um, the buffer beams red and, and silver, the tips, a um, couple of little, little tiny bits and pieces and a coat of lacquer and uh, it's all being oiled so it'll be ready to test as well and then once it's in its box be a nice loco okay this is it finished it's got its LMS letters on the sender and the engine numbers and nicely packed in its box well, that's the end of my video, and I hope you enjoyed that short video of constructing a, a Hornby 00 Black 5 that was a never was loco, but uh, could have been uh, made. Um, and it's something different for your layout, and there are a few of these locos around. I have made a few of them, but there are some others that other people have made. Um, yeah. Well, until next time, bye for now.